Hello everyone, welcome you all. Today I will show you how to write a program to count the number of words in a string or we can say in a para. So I will show you a simple code how can we count the number of words in a para or a string. So let's get started. So initially we need a string type, one string variable called a string and then after I will provide input from to scanner in equal to new scanner system dot in and uh, this should be stored in my string so string equal to in dot next line so in case uh, if we, we are using any int type then we can use int but I am using a string so we can use string type so after that I need to uh, do one small uh, array operation here so I will take array using an split key so wherever I see the spaces I will split it and I will store it in a string so for that I will say string string array and string array equal to space split equal to str dot split so using space so I will split the spaces and then I will store it in a array so now I need a uh, uh, code to uh, do the entire operation of uh, the words counting then it will print so for that I will use hash map hash map uh, the collection so for that I am use uh, string and integer and I will say map equal to new hash map we can use a map also so we can use map and uh, concatenate classes also we can use like map with hash map or tree set or concurrent hash map we can use based on our need we can use it but I am using a hash map here so after hash map I will need to iterate the entire string or a pair that is been given as an input I will say int i equal to 0 then after I will say i less than or equal to my space split or space split dot length so we cannot use size here because it's not a list so it's an array we can use length here and i plus plus then after i will open this place so i need to check for one condition and whether uh, we are getting uh, i mean we have a key called a split or there i mean we have a array of elements whether we have the array of elements or not when we have an empty array also then that time no need to be again perform any other addition or checking for other word exist in the pair so if there is a no word then I will say else whatever is been given that is a single word so I will say if I will say map dot contains key of split i space split so I need to do the iteration of array so here I will say I need to see whether my input given string has more than one or not if it is only one then I no need to again do the checking for other word so I will then again go to the else part this is the else part I can go to the else part and whatever being in the else part it will print here so here I will perform one more action called uh, one more code called map so I need to take the count right so for that count I will say count equals to map dot get so I will use get and a space split and I will use I so this will get all the count in case if it is more than one word then it will try to check whether uh, the given word is having more than once whether it is being used more than once or not if it is used more than once then the count will be added here so count going to be incremented so I will append that to 
my hash map using map I will use put here and put my key value is whatever I am using the space split so space split of i then my value should be count plus one because it is incrementing right so I need to use count plus one so how many times it will be coming then I that many times I need to increment the count plus one I will use an else part I will say map dot put and same here space split so uh, whatever split I am using so I will take this i here then in value I will say 1 so now here if my count is I mean if the word is being repeated more than once the count will be incremented and it is assigned to the respective word if it is not being used more than once then it will go to the else part and it will say the word is been having only used one time so then after we need to print this so we need to print after the for loop so we need to use after the for loop so if you use in within the for loop it will print a, a how many times it is going to be printed that many times it will be going to be printed so i need to use outside the for loop and i will say map now i will execute this piece of program so i need to you i'm using a scanner right so i need to provide some values i will say i am testing the automation page testing and then I will results results of page this is my input to string so from this I need to verify how many times each word being repeated or I will say count of the entire words uh, no I know how why it is being printed so let me copy this we'll use the same string here here it's an array right so array starts from 0 and we need to use minus 1 here so let's save it and again run the program and I'm using the same string here let's enter so here you can see uh, it has given the number of count that is being uh, used words so the, we have used testing two times so it is giving a two and page is also used two times it is giving two so this is how we can count the number of words in a given string so i hope this session is useful for you in case if you are new to my channel please do subscribe to my channel stay tuned for more questions like this uh, as part of interview point of view for automation testers and as data engineers thank you for watching mm -hmm.